What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Minifigures Online. In the last episode we made our way through the volcano and even at the end of an erupting, very, very hot volcano, there's always some ice cream to come and enjoy. <laughs> Which I really, really think is funny. But um, let's build this stuff up and then we'll head on through. It looks like that we have actually finished up the volcano now, like we did in the last episode. But before we do anything else, we need to switch out of the skydiver and equip the hot dog man. Oh man, am I excited for this guy. Let's see, let's check this out really quick. Let's check out, he has more creativity than anything else, but yet again, in another in the middle of the character, he has the hot dog smashes his left click move, which I'm pretty, he just, I find that funny. He doesn't run, he just hops. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Alrighty then. I'm ex actually curious to see what his right click move is. His left click seems to be actually exactly like the skydiver where it's just a punch, but this is hot dog roll. You trip and roll sideways, catching your enemies off guard. Influenced by Dreadleg's cursed power. We must be getting close now. All right then, so. Yeah, hopefully we are. Let's actually switch to Hot Dog Man here in a moment. Actually, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Run. Alrighty then, so let's roll. <laughs> that is so cool. I think that I like the Skydiver special move better when it comes to efficientness. It definitely does do more damage, but this guy has a really funny one. I just love how funny this dude is. Hot Dog Man is awesome. But, um, yeah, let's go get this guy. There you go. And then, uh, what's down here? Nope, more enemies to take out. So let's roll right into them. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Okay, then, um, do this, then get all of this stuff. Yep, okay, get all these. I bet the stars have changed. I thought the stars were filled out in the center, but they're no longer. That's sort of weird. All right, then roll through the, what is it? Why is this guy? He's all protected. Maybe I have to take out everybody else? What is going on with this guy? Oh, there we go. I guess I had to destroy his shield first, which is pretty interesting. Can I go in here? No, I can't, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, hmm. What is going on through here, though? Um, a lot of stuff, so take care of you guys. Yep, take you down, take you down indeed. <laughs> okay, and then, um, hmm. Yep, let's take care of these guys. There's so many enemies to take out all the time. Uh-oh, I see more spiderlings, though. So let's say, get this. Let's see if I can't get rid of them before they even sort of spawn in. Whoa, who's this? It is the Smuggy Totem Bound. <laughs> what an interesting name. You're going down though, buddy. Yep, just like that. There we go. Yummy mashies or smashies. Defeat Smuggy Tormbound. Totem Bound in the Pirate World. Okay, then we get a big old chest for that one too, which will have the Sea Captain legs and the Slycops, and the Cyclops, not Slycops, <laughs> head. All right, then I think we actually have more to build then. Let's take care of these spiders and take care of this tree. And now we'll go check it out. Um, Assembling. Um, we do have three spare parts, so we can instantly convert that to 250 stars. What else do we have? We need the um, Sea Captain Torso. Um, but everything else is fine. We still don't have everything. I really want to get the Cyclops, but for now, we just have to deal with what we have. Whoa, okay, this is all from the uh, spawning end. So let's get this, and then that, and then this, and then that. Okay, now we can continue this way. I didn't realize that sometimes you just get chests for this kind of stuff, though. It's pretty cool. Um, let's switch to you and take care of this guy. Yep, okay. And now we're good to go. I think we can keep on moving out of this area. We can take care of some more spiderlings, because why not? There we go, novice monster smasher. Smash a thousand monsters. I do want to check out the achievements of, you know, soon to see what, you know, what we're close to and what we're not close to. Uh, we can move over to this guy. He can build really fast. He's pretty high on creativity scale at this point. Unlike this guy, another ice cream. I just love seeing, no matter how far we journey, ice cream is always there. Destroy the fire fiends and fire totems. Okay, is this a fire fiend? Um, we're about to find out here. Um, I don't think so. Oh, maybe he is. Okay, then anything that's in this area then is a fire fiend. Okay. This monkey, uh, where's a fire totem? Oh boy, what is that guy? This guy doesn't look pleasant. He is tempered. Okay then, uh, Mr. Temper, I wanna roll right through you. <laughs> I like how it knocks him up into the air. It's a good like little stun kind of thing. But there we go, he's almost down. There we go. We got him, we got him, we got him. Boom, revolutionary soldier, Temper. Defeat Temper as a real evolution. I didn't know that was a thing, but we got it. Okay then, and we got another one. There we go, uh, too cool for school. Defeat Temper in the pirate world. Oh, we got two things, okay. That's awesome. Um, There we go. And then let's check this out really quick. Um. I think we actually do have the Cyclops now. We do! All right, then let's build main. And there we go, congratulations, you got a new minifigure. And it is the Cyclops, so we'll try him in the next episode. Of course, we gotta enjoy the hot dog man while we have him for now. But that's awesome, we already have another extra spare part. And then we have a comedian. <laughs> Say something funny, Mr. Comedian. <laughs> okay, then, um, hmm. So what can we do around here? We can keep building stuff here. And, whoa, what's with the little electricity? I'm not really sure. <laughs> We're just very electrified right now. Take care of this hound, and then um, quest complete. Destroy the fire fiends and fire totems. So there's yet another thing done. So many achievements getting achieved today, which is awesome. 
Um, so what is this little moon thing up here? I'm not really sure. We might as well check it out, though. Um, yeah, what is this? Uh, it is... It is a pocket adventure. This one is the Scorched Ruins. Rattly Bonesly. Ha is Rattly Bonesly or Bonesly? I'm not sure. I'm gonna say Rattly Bonesly and his undead pirate crew are still causing trouble in the city ruins. So let's go and take on Mr. Bonesly. All right, so we're in the Scorched Ruins now. Who can we take on Mr. Bonesly? Where are you? I'm gonna avenge this town for you. <laughs> okay, um, and take care of these guys too. Oh my God. I like how there's skeletons and there's ghost pirates. It's like, which one does a pirate turn into when they kick the bucket? Do they turn into a ghost? Do they turn into a skeleton? Do they like, <laughs> what happens? Do they reincarnate to a fire monkey? This is like really confusing. Like what makes sense here? I'm not sure. I wonder if there's an order of things. Like which one do you lose first? Do you lose your body? Or do you turn into a ghost? Do you turn into a skeleton first? Not really sure. Is there tiers? Is there a ranking system? You get promoted into a ghost? Too many questions, not enough answers. Oh, there he is, Mr. Bonesline. All right then, or Bonesly. Now I can't decide. Um, Let's uh, move over, roll into you, get you stunned up a bit. Already at full health, I wasn't even trying to use my uh, potions there, but nice to know, nice to know. Um, All right then, let's roll through you again, and then take you on from afar. Whoa, that's a huge beam there. That's really cool looking, but I gotta take you out now. There we go, quest completed, and we got a new mini for you. That one was really easy, but there is the Scarecrow, Shadow Defender. So yet another guy to try at some point in time, awesome. So what is this? Um, oh boy, okay, we got the Cyclops body. So even more spare parts that we simply don't need. Okay, um, let's take care of this, but there we go. That was probably the easiest mini quest or pocket quest we've had yet. So now we can head out of here. All right, so let's make our way out of this ruined city here. I think we've gotten everything in this area. So it's good to make our way up, not a big deal. Yep, let's just slip on over here. Excuse me, Mr. Fire Monkey, some more skeletons. Okay, well, these guys are chasing me all the way down. Oh, no, they just turned away. Okay, oh, more of them. Um, roll right through. <laughs> I love that move, it is fun, but it's also a little awkward. I wish it could just do a little more damage or stun them from a little longer, because it's like, it's a fun move to do, but it doesn't really give you that much of a reward. What's down here? It seems like there's still some bonus stuff we're missing. Um, hmm, not much. It just seems to be a nice place to run around and look around, but besides that. Oh, what, what is this? Uh, yeah, let's build you. Oh, I found an achievement or something. Uh. I found a trophy, and nothing happened. <laughs> Weird, okay. <laughs> Won't complain, I just found a big old trophy. Um, hmm, let's go up here though, and see what's going on through here. All right, it looks like we're about to be at the place we need to be. What is going on around? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> him and his twirly motions, I love that. I wanna go through this kind of again just to see that again. <laughs> he spins around like a helicopter. I know that the, uh, what's his name? The other guy would swim, the, uh, the uh, lifesaver dude. But this guy, what does he do? He just is like, whoa, I'm normal. <laughs> and this guy is also, okay, he sort of tries to swim in the air too. He's like, pizza! <laughs> okay, um, is there anything over here though that we're missing out on? Um, there is, or sort of, but not really. <laughs> There's treasure, but we can't do much with it. Okay, I guess I'll miss out then. All right then, um, yeah, we're good, we're good. We can head over to whatever this is, even though it does look a little menacing, but what is it? It is, it is the story dungeon. So it is the pirate grotto within his hidden there. The ruthless captain Dreadleg awaits. Only the bravest would dare to challenge him. So it looks like we can actually take on Dreadleg in this episode, which is pretty darn scary. But let's go in and try to take on the uh, pirate Dreadleg in Pirate Grotto. Okay, Mr. Oh, there he is. Save me, Beard. How'd you make it past the volcano, the skeletons, and the hounds? We're really just that good. The crystal compass be giving you powers. You have what it takes to bring me down. You're gonna have to defeat me best, the most vicious ghost crew first. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, new objective, find and face Captain Dreadleg. We'll give it our best shot here. What's going on over here? This is just another uh, teleport spot. Okay, unlock that really quick. Okay, are we ready to take on Dreadleg? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> hopefully everything works out okay, because the last boss we did to become the captain was actually pretty darn tough, so hopefully this one is a lot more lenient. I don't know. I would expect it to get tough, though. Like, I wouldn't mind if the game got a little more difficult. It has been pretty easy at this point. The cannons are attacking us, and there's not much we can do about it. Um, Let's roll through them. <laughs> just like that. Um, Oh, boy. We're actually a little cornered here. Um, let's back up though and just bring out the revolutionaries. They can't run away from this. <laughs> Easy. Okay, so we are halfway through level nine, which is pretty cool. And we might actually have enough for another uh, assembly. No, not quite. 
We are getting quite a lot at this point, though. We still need yet another. But, we, but it's not here yet. We'll find it sooner or later. And what is this? Eric, let's def defeat Skimpy Bob. <laughs> okay, if I have to. Doom. There you go. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna hit you from behind. Ooh, all of the pain is coming to you, Mr. Skippy Bob. <laughs> you can't even handle it. We're just gonna ignore everybody else and focus him down. That should take out everybody around him? Oh, not quite. Okay, we still have to fight you, Mr. Grenader. <laughs> or Grenadier. Hmm. There we go. But we defeated Skippy Bob without that much of an effort, really. <laughs> Pretty easy. I guess that's why he's skimpy, isn't it? Um. Alrighty then. So we can go back over this way, though and see what's going on. So it looks like we just have to defeat all of his men and stuff on the way there, which shouldn't be that too big of a deal. Can we knock the cannon in the air? We can't quite. That would've been funny if we could. But okay, let's take everybody on just like that. Nice. Okay. This is a cool ship though, like that's the thing. He has some pretty cool locations. He, he'd definitely be on anything if Captain Dragleg wasn't a bad guy who wants to destroy everything. I'd say he should become some type of realtor. He, he's really good at finding these nice locations. He can sell some all, a lot of houses here. Okay, um, got these guys that we can basically sneak up on. Not able to see us a little bit, but that's okay. Just dodge your shots, not too hard. And then these guys. Okay, yep, let's do this, and then, oh, where am I? What happened there? Oh, I was being knocked around like crazy. Do this, oh man, there's actually a lot of enemies here. All right, let's see who I can hit and who I can't. There we go, throw a pizza at you. <laughs> you look angry, have a pizza. <laughs> okay, um, hmm, what is down there? Looks like just a little water area. Yeah, this area is like really sinking cool. Oh, there was a quest there. We'll check it out in a second. Let me just get these stars. Okay, we do have over 2,000 stars now, though. All right, get you. What is it called? Smash the loading bay. So I guess we just have to destroy a certain amount of stuff here. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, Gotta just keep destroying stuff. We're already just about halfway there. <laughs> Glorious, fantastic. Get this guy, too. There you go. And then Mr. Cannon over here, I don't like it, so I'm gonna take you down. And get all this stuff too. Ooh, the big explosions. That was TNT, I didn't even notice. And oh, here's a bad guy. Um, then, oh no, I missed my road. I missed the hot dog road. Okay, get this. And then, um, he's almost in already. <laughs> this guy's actually pr pretty tough. He's Argor Chief of Cargo. Well, I mean, I'm destroying everything you've worked for then. All of the cargo. Okay, and then, what is over here? More pirates, okay, good, good, good. Ready, ooh, nice, quest completed, smash the loading bay, good. Okay, then we're getting all these uh, quests completed, these side quests, and there's a cannon over here. I'll take care of this guy too, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, so I think we're actually good to move on from this area, not too much, whoa, lots of guys. He definitely has a lot of uh, lackeys too, which is pretty cool. He just seems to be, I feel like he's good at everything besides being a menacing pirate. Like he can make a lot of friends, he can gather up a big audience, he can find great locations. I just feel like he should do something better with his time. Maybe when he retires from being a pirate, he can really show his abilities. Maybe it was like a family trait. He feels obligated to be a pirate because his dad was a pirate and then his dad was a pirate, you know? I don't know, I don't know Dreadlike's story, but hopefully it's a good one. I mean, he is a bad guy, so can only think that it isn't so great. Why can't I walk up these stairs? Uh, What's that? Oh, there I go. Now I can. <laughs> that was weird. Um, hmm. All right, let me take care of these guys, too. Yep, get rid of all of you. Ready? Ooh, roll right through. And who's this guy? This is the, uh, I'm not sure. It is a gunner grenade. Okay, let's take care of you, too. Ready? <laughs> You're going down. But yeah, hopefully, Mr. Uh, Dreadlike isn't too bad, but either way, we took care of that boss, and I think that we're gonna calm down and take a break for right now. There's another gunner grenade, and that's Harry Grenade. Looks like they're brothers. By the way, uh, while we're taking on Mr. Harry here, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode of Lego Minifigures Online, make sure to give the video a like, share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. If you've watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Hot Dog Man so that I know you've watched the end of the video, and that you're a zebratastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.